A same single drug has been used in a different way to treat a different disorders. So here I am just taking an example of Ada Doda Vasika. Uh, the picture of the plant is shown just behind. That has been commonly used drug in almost all the traditional system of medicine. But here you can clearly see that if you take a fresh plant, the fresh plant as such is mainly used to control the bleeding disorder. Either it can be a bleeding via your nose or uh, it can be via your rectum or any other regions of your body. But whereas if you take the only the juice of the plant, it doesn't work well in the bleeding disorders, but it works well in the respiratory disorder. There is another mode of preparation that is kashaya. If you prepare a decoction out of it, that is also more uh, works well in the respiratory disorders. And the next form is manapag. Manapag is like uh, the uh, duration of the, I mean the shelf life of the decoction is very short. You can't use it for more than, uh, you can't keep it for more than 8 hours. So in order to uh, preserve it for a long period, say up to some 3 to 4 months, what uh, they use is like they'll add the palm jaggery to it and make it like a syrup. So that will have a more shelf life and you can keep it for a period of uh, some 4 to 6 months. So the last one is powder. So here you can clearly see that if you use a fresh plant, the uh, indication for the plant is different. Whereas if you can use it as a juice for a different disorder, for decoction you can use it as a different disorder and as a powder you can use it as a different disorder. Maybe when you just uh, think about what exactly is the chemistry behind it. Because, I, okay, the last one is oil. So oil, basically we use this particular same plant for a uterine uh, prolapse or the bilateral tubal block. So here you can see, just by using the same compounds with a different formulation, you are treating a different disease. So here, you can, when you use a fresh plant as such, you will have all the compounds of that particular plant in it. Either it can be a secondary metabolite or a primary metabolite or whatever it has along with the fiber and the starch with it. So when you use the, all the things together, you will have a different effect. Same way when you prepare a juice, you will remove most of the fiber part of it and of course the part of the starch of it and a limited quantity of uh, secondary metabolites from that too. So when you re remove those kind of uh, uh, secondary metabolites out of it, you will have a different efficacy. And same way decoction, decoction what you do is like you prepare a, almost like a solvent extraction technique because water is a strongly polar solvent which will be able to extract all the um, uh, non-polar, um, mid-polar and polar compounds into it. So here in decoction you will have most of the water soluble extracts but not the fiber and the starch. And manapagi is just the preservative form of that. But when you take it for powder, it will be like you are going to dry it. So you lose most of the secondary metabolites of it and you take only the remaining part of it. But when it comes to oil, that is the beauty of it. You are using a highly non-polar solvent in that and you are extracting only the non-polar compounds out of it. So the efficacy uh, of the particular uh, preparations depends on the extract, extracting methods and everything. So this clearly shows that even the ancient system, they had a very clear knowledge about the solvent extraction methods and techniques. And the disease that has been treated uh, were also based on this particular formulation.